Sorry we haven't been keeping up with our updates. I know it's been a crazy time for everybody. It's been a crazy time for us. We're just going to update you guys on what we've been doing day in and day out. Where do we start? So I guess like when the pandemic really like broke out in America and everything started closing, like the first thing that closed for me was um, my school. So that was during spring break and um, I was actually home during the time. And then once that happened, I was like, okay, well, I need to like really buckle down. Um, so I drove back here and my school was completely moved to online as I'm sure a lot of um, schools have been. It's just weird. Everything is super just weird. Like the first, oh two weeks where it was like online learning and like don't leave your house unless you have to and um it was all pretty much brand new it was just a really nerve-wracking time and like it still is obviously but i was just like petrified to go outside and i'm still kind of like really uneasy about going outside now so it's just like totally different from what I'm used to. Like I'm used to going outside, going to my rec center, going to my library. Um, Cause it's just a lot harder to do work like in your own space where you're not used to doing any type of school work at all really. So yeah, it's been weird. Eric and I have just watched like a ton of movies um we were doing like a tally of how many movies we had watched from like i think it was like the middle of march till like recently and i think well we've only really watched like 10 ish movies which isn't that much but yeah so when the pandemic started uh, i was still going to work uh, i work at a gym i'm a personal trainer I was still going to work and people were just kind of not taking it seriously. The gym, you know, got emptier as the days went on, but when it was finally closed, it was a re relief because I was feeling uncomfortable and I was feeling torn uh, because I don't even know. I was just feeling torn know. in between. I didn't, I didn't know what was going on, what was going to happen. Like how serious it was. I mean, obviously it's a pandemic, so. Yeah, so yeah. And that was uh, something. And then uh, I've been working from home, so uh, giving exercises uh, throughout the day and doing little tidbit videos and stuff like that, just trying to stay active. Um, I've been, like Trudy said, we've been watching uh, movies. I've been playing video games, reading. Oh, wait, that's what we did. What? Okay, as soon as I got back, so I went home for spring break, and as soon as I got back, I was like, we don't have Wi-Fi in our apartment. So being that literally, like, all the coffee shops, the library, every public space was like closing we were like well shoot we have to go get like wi-fi immediately so we did and that was uh, that was stressful because we were still around like people like not every place had closed down yet and it was just really unnerving um and then we even went to target after that and target was like desolate like there was no one there was hardly anyone there there was like nothing on the shelves. It was so bizarre. It was like World War Z, only um, stuff wasn't like all over the floor or anything like that, but everything was just empty. But we had to get our router, which is why we went. But like since then, which was like what, like March 20th or so, we hadn't, or I hadn't like gone inside to get groceries. I've been doing like the Walmart pickup and, um, Eric just recently did the Walmart that they drop it off at your doorstep, which they definitely didn't. So that was fun. But yeah. That's it. Uh, we, we've just been trying to make do with everything. Uh, 
hadn't gotten my hair braided in over a month. Uh, haircut, nada. I turned into a caveman. Uh, we're just finding things to do. Like we made uh, ice cream out of bananas. Oh. We made peanut butter cookies. One, uh, three ingredients for peanut butter cookies. Uh, we've been baking things. We've been making our pizzas. The pancake. The pancake muffins. Oh, oh. So we made these pancake muffins. We used pancake mix, a little bit of flour, um, chocolate. What was it? Um, oh yeah, just hot chocolate. Hot mix. chocolate mix. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, and what else? Did we put anything else in that? Some water, I'm sure. No. Yeah. Maybe some water. I don't know. But it turned out really good actually because we didn't really have like a whole lot of like stuff. So. We just used our pancake mix and stuff that we had. But yeah, we've been watching a lot of 90 Day Fiance, <laughs> which is so funny. Yeah, that's super funny. Uh, uh, we've been binge watching that. We watched the before 90 days and the 90 days, and it's just crazy. Uh, it's just something to watch. Uh, we finished Money Heist thus far. We can't oh, yeah. wait to watch more of those oh, episodes. Oh, and Ozark. Yeah, it's oh, I love Ozark. Yeah, we waited like, I think it was about, it was about a year. Yeah, a year and some change. A year we waited for season three to come out. Because we had watched one and two like as soon as they came out. And then we waited and we were done with it so quick. Like it literally took us probably less than a week to finish that so kind of a bummer but what else so I used to do yoga a lot at my school's rec center I did that at least three times a week and so then when everything went to online literally everything some classes some like hit classes yoga classes um, mashup classes were on the rec center's website and so i've been going on zoom and doing those yoga classes whenever they're scheduled for and then i ordered a yoga mat i was so excited i ordered a yoga mat from athleta and it's amazing i'm not i think it's made out of tree rubber which i'm not sure how that works but it's really good for when your hands get sweaty and like your feet get sweaty because like when you're you know on there you don't like slip and fall. This is a little bit more about me. I ordered a passion planner. Oh my gosh, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me since this pandemic probably because I have felt so, so unorganized being like just in here. I don't know what it is. I just feel like I have no motivation and I can't really get sh stuff done. And so like in the passion planner, it has like the weekly schedule out and it's dated and it has like every half hour listed out so you can like write in what you're gonna do for that half hour. And I've really like actually stuck to it more than I have with any other planner or agenda, which I haven't really kept up with at all, just because they haven't been the right paper or like the right thickness or had like by half hour so then I just feel like well I'm just writing down a list of things I have to do so that's been super helpful oh yeah we've been washing our clothes in the sink because we don't have a washer dryer hookup and I feel really uncomfortable with either of us going out to our apartment complexes, washer and dryer, just because, I don't know, when everything started going bad and everyone was like either panicking or not panicking and just going about their business like nothing was happening. Whenever I saw someone in the laundry room, they were coughing and they weren't like covering their mouth. So I was just like, I don't know how much I trust other people. Like I trust myself obviously, but I would have to literally wipe down everything in there to feel okay about washing in there. And then even then it's a public, 
I mean, it's not public, it's for our apartment complex, but it's still open to everyone and they could come in at any time. So I would just feel not very good about just our stuff in there, you know? I don't know. I've just been, ugh. I felt like I've had to wipe down everything in order to feel sane, which is a little crazy or precautious, however you want to look at it, because I look at it as I'm being precautious about it, but. Well, all we could do is continue to use preventative measures to make sure that we're safe and we're keeping everybody else safe by not going outside, not grouping up and just taking care of ourselves. Uh, we just want you guys to hang in there and we'll see this out. We'll see this out. And that's that. We thank you guys for watching. And we have some new content coming out soon. We'll try to keep it coming out as much as we can. Thanks for watching.